Hey, this is Phyllis, and this is my Chocolate Lab, Jesse. I wanted to do a, uh, a one-year uh, update since uh, my cubital tunnel uh, syndrome surgery. I had that surgery on June 5th of uh, 2008, so it's uh, been just a little bit over a year, <clears throat> and I've had um, a lot of requests uh, to do a one-year update, because I've done uh, three other videos at uh, various times uh, through the year. Um, uh, as to how my uh, recovery is going. So uh, anyway, um, well, Jesse's leaving. Um, I still have a a lot of, uh, of numbness uh, in my hand, which when I started uh, approaching the uh, the one year mark, I was you know really depressed because I thought you know by one year you know, all this numbness would you know be gone. But uh, my orthopedic surgeon did tell me you know uh, right up front. Uh, before I had my surgery that uh, you know take me a year to 18 months to recover and I've also uh, heard some other people uh, make comments you know that their doctors told them up to uh, two years and I think uh, at two years uh, that's about the best you're gonna get and I think uh, for most people from what I've heard they give them like a 80 percent chance of recovery uh, but I don't I don't really think that that's true I know that people do sometimes fall into that category uh, but you know most of us uh, do have a pretty good you know recovery rate uh, you may end up with uh, some tingling and some uh, you know numbness uh, but it won't be you know say like for instance the way it is with me now <clears throat> and uh, you know like I said it was still you know a lot of numbness and all uh, but on actually on my one year mark it's like the numbness got uh, hundred percent better uh, if I had to live with it, uh, well, which I am living with it, but if my hand, you know, wasn't going to get any better from this point on, I would be very satisfied. But like I said, it's still very aggravating, you know, having uh, half your uh, ring finger and your pinky and part of your palm, you know, completely numb. Uh, I did have a, an extremely a lot of muscle wasting before I had the surgery because mine came on real quick. I uh, was doing some uh, landscape work, doing a lot of shoveling, and that strained the uh, the tendon and caused that nerve uh, to get pinched and damaged. So I had uh, almost just basically I in just uh, three short weeks I'd lost uh, you know just about complete use of my arm, lost all of my pinching ability, but I got all that back uh, just a couple of days after surgery, very few days after surgery. I also got my strength back probably within a week. I could feel that night that I was getting my strength back. Uh, also, this finger used to be real flimsy, but now I can really put the pressure on it. That you know, muscles back. This one, uh, it's not you know flimsy anymore. I've really got the uh, you know the strength to hold them out and the resistance and the strength in my hand. Like I said, my pinching ability. Uh, I still have the uh, right down through here. You can still tell where there was a lot of uh, muscle waste, and it's still a big dip here and uh, inside my hand right here I kind of look like a, a stroke victim because it's sunk in real bad but uh, when I do pinch I can see that that muscle uh, you know is coming back a whole lot but uh, my hands still caved in right there so uh, I've come a long way but I've got a long way to go and I get a lot of comments about people uh, you know being afraid to have the surgery and all um, which, you know, having elbow surgery is, you know, completely nothing like having open heart surgery or taking a lung out or something like that. Uh, the elbow surgery is uh, really, you know, pretty simple. I had the uh, the decompression. They just cut uh, about a one inch incision right along in here. Uh, even the uh, problem where I was having, I couldn't touch my elbow. I was having, uh, every time you kind of touched it, it felt like shock waves were going all the way down. And, you know, that even cleared up in a couple of days, too, after surgery. So everything, you know, after the surgery, it seems like it gets better within, you know, a couple of days, a week, or at least 30 days, you know, uh, for the decompression surgery, uh, you seem to get back all the strength, and, uh, you know, everything gets back to normal except for the numbness. And the numbness, you know, is the biggest, you know, headache can be really, really, really aggravating. Uh, I, I pray about it a whole lot. I want this numbness gone. I, I pray that I live to see the day that this numbness is gone. Because, like I said, it's it's really aggravating. <clears throat> and um, I still uh, I don't you know prop up on my elbow anymore. Uh, you don't want to do that after you've had surgery. Uh, you want to continue uh, as with any surgery to uh, you know to baby your arms, even though you've had surgery. Now, tell you you can go back to your normal duties. You still need to uh, to baby your elbow. Because uh, you don't want to uh, do any further damage to that uh, nerve or tendon or any of the muscles or anything. Uh, so I'm, you know, really careful in, in all things that I do now. 
And uh, um, you also uh, another thing, um, if you uh, you know happen to have any kind of sickness, certain colds, or like a urinary tract infection, for example, uh, always get the uh, printout sheet from your drugstore. Uh, because I was having a problem about a week ago, and my doctor, family doctor, gave me a medicine. Well. I looked at the printout sheet, and of course, not only did it cause you know lung damage, shortness of breath, uh, a heart attack, uh, it also you know chest pains. It also not only did it also you know can also cause death, uh, but it also says if you have nerve damage, do not take that medicine. So you know, I was dumb enough, and you know I talked to the pharmacist, and the pharmacist said, well you know that's only if you've been on it for like six months or longer. So I took one pill. Uh, I think it's called. Uh, Macrobit, uh, something like that. Like I said, it's for a urinary tract infection. And I took one, and within two hours, it felt like I had never had surgery. There was just all this, this just increased uh, numbness uh, all the way down through here. It even went into my arm. So I did not take any more. So I really, really like to, uh, you know, encourage you anytime you have to take a medicine to always get those printout sheets or check these side effects on the uh, internet because if you do have any kind of nerve damage, uh, you don't want to be taking certain medicines that will irritate that nerve, especially after you've had surgery and it's in the healing process. Uh, and we know that this is a long. Uh, um, drawn out recovery process. You don't want to do or take anything that will aggravate that nerve. Uh, kind of, you know, no matter what the cost is. But uh, anyway, I got my doctor to switch me around on a couple of different medicines. But uh, you know, I got that uh, straightened out. But like I said, you don't want to do anything to, to re aggravate uh, this nerve. Um, you notice I keep rubbing it. I mean, this is a constant 24 hour a day thing. Ever since my you know hand went numb, I'm just constantly you know either rubbing here or rubbing. I just I want it to wake up, and just subconsciously, you know, that's what you do, and, you know, you're sitting or wake up, or, uh, you know, your foot falls asleep or whatever, you rub it, or you get up and walk around because you want it to, you know, to wake up, and so I catch myself just constantly, you know, no matter what I'm doing, sitting around rubbing my hand and all. So, uh, you know, just be careful, and, you know, if you have to have surgery, you know, try not to worry, worry about it. I mean, I'm one of those, I'm the biggest chickens in the whole wide world. Uh, when I went to see my orthopedic surgeon, I mean, I, I mean, I, I put up a terrible argument. I absolutely was not going to have surgery. I was that terrified. And, you know, like I said, I had so much muscle waste and I just about lost the use of my arm. And, you know, he said, you really don't have a choice. He said, you know, it's just going to get worse. And, um, but, you know, like I said, um, I'm one of the biggest chickens. And, you know, I get a lot of comments about people, uh, you know, being afraid of the surgery. Uh, the biggest thing about the surgery. Uh, which I will go ahead and tell you this up front, which for most of you would be a big relief. Uh, they're just starting to uh, to kind of do case studies or test studies on this and all, but the biggest thing about surgery is being put to sleep. And you say, well, why is the bigger pro big problem about being put to sleep? Uh, they're just uh, starting to recognize that uh, a large number of people that are being put to sleep, uh, once they wake up, uh, within the next week, they start uh, having this severe depression. And, uh, you know, a lot of people complain about that. That's one of the things. I've had three surgeries uh, in different parts of my body. And it's the one thing that I regret any time, you know, or I dread any time I have to have a surgery is being, you know, I just, like, can't you do anything besides put me to sleep? Because I just kind of fall into that, uh, this, this deep depression. I also go for about two days, uh, you know, after the surgery and just absolutely can't sleep. So I end up just awake for two days and I drop into this just big depression, just... Uh, you don't know why. I mean, you're not depressed about anything. You're just all just kind of this down in the dump, uh, I don't know, hopeless feeling. But, um, you know, so that's kind of the biggest thing now. So you don't have to really, you know, worry about being in excruciating pain because most, you know, pain medicine they give is like uh, generic, uh, like Vicodin or uh, Advil or ibuprofen, something like that because, um, you know, the pain is... It's just really not any pain, you know, even like with gallbladder problems or appendixes, you know, you really don't have pain after the surgery. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful. I know I've kind of rambled on and jumped from one subject to another subject, but, um, you know, just kind of bear with me. And I hope this has been a blessing to you in some way, and um, you have a very blessed week.